Welcome to our series on Rodome and bumper testing, where we cover everything you need to know about Rodome testing and the usage of the powerful QAR50. This video is about measurement parameters and their importance for the radar sensor. What does the radar sensor actually see and what is it influenced by? So when I compare this to my glasses, because the Radome is actually the same as the glasses for me is the Radome for the radar. So when I take it off, I basically don't see it anything anymore. It's not that bad for the radar sensor, but a bad Radome still has a huge influence. So when I'm putting on the glasses, a couple of things could happen. So first of all, if I wear sunglasses, they have a high attenuation. So that means probably at night, I can't see that good anymore. What would that mean for the radar sensor? It would potentially have a decreased range. So it can't see 300 meters out if you have a too high transmission loss. Inhomogeneities is when I would have engraved the Roland Schwarz logo, for example, on my glasses, then I would always see the Roland Schwarz logo, which is completely annoying and which would confuse me and it would do the same with the sensor. So it might be that a vehicle that is actually on my lane is detected on a different lane because of the distortion of the signal by the transmission due to the glasses and due to the inhomogeneities. Super annoying for the sensor and also needs to be checked. What is most annoying for people who wear glasses is high reflectivity. So you know that if you're in a sunny environment, the sun is shining from behind and you always have the reflection in your glasses. So that basically means that the sensor is completely blind at that spot and you can't see anything. So even a big target is then hidden in the noise of that high reflection. The good thing is the QAR50 can measure all these parameters which are important for the sensor. So homogeneity, we are making the transmission phase and also the transmission loss. We are capturing spatially resolved images and you can check them for homogeneity. So that means you can check the homogeneity of the radome by using the QAR50, for example, end of line production in order to ensure that the painting layers are sprayed correctly. Everything is smooth in the process and everything is done correctly. Low reflectivity, we also measure the reflection. So that means we can directly measure the reflection with the QAR50. Same for the attenuation, we also measure the attenuation and we measure also the frequency response. So you can even check that the adaption of the radome to the specific frequency of the radar is ensured all the time throughout the process. 